I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday June the 30th things are really winding down here going into 4th of July holiday and the midsummer break for cattle marketing look at the board on Thursday there uh, your board was up pretty decent live cattle futures on the August was up 87 cents ending the day at 116.50 your June spot live cattle market going off the board there down a nickel at 120.20 uh, feeder cattle up 77 on the August at 147.17 but uh, you know that June live cattle spot there at 120.20 that's real tight in there where uh, fat cattle sold on Thursday and uh, actually it touched better but uh, you, we've been talking about the big basis that we've seen all spring here on your June live cattle contracts but they all come together as we get into August we're at 116.50 and that's not that far from where the cash market is so running a lot tighter basis as we're just moving on to that uh, August being the spot market but uh, historically your August and December always run a tighter basis a lot of times it's a negative basis and uh, if we see deliveries through the year of, uh, of fat cattle on the board it's it's a lot of times in August and December because they always run such a tight basis there but uh, look at the trade on Thursday Texas and Kansas sold fat cattle at 119. That'd be three to four dollars lower than the bulk of last week, but really about steady with some real late sales there late last week at 119. Nebraska and Colorado sold cattle from 118 to 120. They had a few dress sales at 189. That'd be like three to six dollars lower on a dress basis, and and that Thursday trade was just a little lower than some of the spotty trade that we saw on Wednesday around. But, uh, but I wouldn't really call that a, a defeat, but uh, they got to sell some cattle this week going into the holiday week, and that's a good sign, uh, kind of staying aggressive on this marketing as we're starting to get into some, some heavier cattle and, some, and uh, a little bit of a heavier bunch here right on the market-ready cattle. Uh, they were, not, we're still very current, but uh, not running ahead of the game like we have been all spring. You look at the actual dress steer weights for the week ending June the 17th, 855 pounds. That's eight pounds larger than the previous report, so that shows the cattle are getting a little bit heavier. But uh, for that week ending the 17th of June, that was the biggest steer and heifer slaughter they'd had in three years. So that's a good sign they're keeping those harvest numbers up. Real time index, late Thursday, Beef Market Central, 145.23, which was down 37 cents than from the previous day, but up around a dollar compared to the end of last week. So we've been talking about how these true yearlings have been selling good even through this down market and, and they continue to do that. You look at some Thursday markets there, Pratt, Kansas had a light run as, as everything's winding down. You think, why can't we sell some cattle other than just on the 4th of July? Well, they take those cattle in and they're gonna hit in there over the weekend uh, you know that your processing crews a lot of your cowboys guys want to be off this weekend for the 4th of July so there's nobody to work those cattle uh, they're gonna have uh, kind of a, ch a choppy uh, group of next week at most of your feedlots they're gonna be wanting to be off at different times through the week you hate to have a lot of new cattle there that you need your best guys there to look after in case they need to pull sick ones or whatever but uh, that's just kind of the way it is it, you know you got two weeks off really in your cattle marketing between Christmas and New Year's and right around the 4th but uh, Pratt Kansas 16 1700 head there feeder steers firm to a dollar higher and that was a pretty good market on a light run there individual quote out of Pratt Kansas 11 20 Thursday morning at 54 head of steers weighed 10 15 136 10 uh, market out east there bluegrass stockyard south amazing how well they sell them in Stanford Kentucky at 61 head of steers at 930 Thursday morning they weighed 840 at 149 and a quarter now we won't have another feeder flash until trade resumes again following uh, the holiday week so uh, well you guys have a great holiday grill some steaks make sure you're keeping plenty of beef in your diet enjoy Independence Day and we'll talk to you then